Hi, this is Rochelle with Amethyst Ascension, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. These are brand new cards that I just got, and I thought, you know what? Let's pick a card. So, this is going to be, just really briefly, what is your animal spirit, or what animal spirit is trying to relay a message to you? So pick either one, two, or three third pile. And these are just going to be a one card thing really quick. So if you pick the first one, it's telling you to make sure you remember to bring a gentle touch. So let's see what it says in the book here, which I'm sure that we have a good idea. But maybe a situation that you're dealing with needs a different approach. Oh, that's how I got to look for it. These are not really numbered. Oh, these are. I'm sorry. My bad. All right. Here we go. Dear Spirit, this is what it says about you or what this, the message for you would be. The time has come to be gentle and diplomatic when dealing with others. You might have found yourself in a situation where negotiations are necessary in order to reach your goal. Be mindful of the words that you choose, but do not worry. Dear Spirit reminds you that you have the ability to be sure-footed and confident while showing humility and respect for others. You will find that your capacity for calm and grounded communication is heightened at this time. Follow the way of the dear spirit and you will do well, gaining the respect of others and finding common ground that is pleasing to you. Remember that understanding others and their needs will be more powerful at this time than putting your own first. If you do that, you will be rewarded tenfold. The protection message from the Dear Spirit, um, it says, Dear Spirit is bringing you a gentle warning that now is not the time to engage in an argument. No matter how volatile others are being, do not match their intensity with your own. If you are dealing with an overly assertive person, step back and disengage, lest that you agree to something out of alignment with your intentions. Don't let anyone bully you into anything that you are uncomfortable with. You have solid footing if you stand your ground with grace. Those who disagree will begin to find their own gentleness and willingness to compromise. Dear Spirit also brings the message that it might be easy to offend somebody today or take offense because someone lacks diplomacy. Let all of that pass. You are not meant to take this world personally. While it's a beautiful gift to be sensitive, today you need a tougher hide so that you that any compromises that you make allow you to maintain your integrity. That is a great message. <sniffs> Who can't use that? Two. Wombat spirit. Hmm. Be at home. Let's see what this one is telling us. Burrowing deep into, oh, I'm sorry, burrowing deep into the ground, remaining safe, sound, and well fed with family is a special treat or trait, I should say, of the wombat. Home sweet home is always available if you recognize that well being is the truth of life. Wombat spirit reminds you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. You do this by accepting all of your experiences without judgment through a deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat of your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being, understanding that all is well. 
Everything that you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. The protection message is, could it be that you are not feeling comfortable in your own skin, thinking that the only way that you can be with others is to hide under the protection of a mask or identity that you created to protect yourself from getting hurt? This mask or persona is supposed to make you look strong, but it really just robs you of your integrity. Wombat spirit arrives to nudge you to drop the false masks because it is not others who will hurt you now. It is you who are hurting yourself when you aren't being authentic. It's okay though. You can course correct if you are willing to be yourself no matter what comes. Each if others are not in agreement. Oh, I'm sorry. Even, obviously I <laughs> need my glasses. Um, even if others are not in agreement with your authenticity, you are safe with spirit. Beautiful. Now, the third one is, oh, the doggy spirit. I love that. Now let's see what it says about the doggy spirit. Be loyal to what you love. Dog spirit appears to remind you that although change is a part of life and all of us are meant to evolve, our love and commitments remain strong. You are loved now and can trust that this higher love is true. Spirit loves you and love has arrived in many forms now, manifesting in the people that you surround yourself with, expressed uniquely through them. Dog spirit also says be true to that which you love. For now is a time of good fortune. Be steady to you. Recognize that people and things are always transforming. Um, your heart is loving and true. And Dog Spirit wants you to know that your steadfast commitment to experiencing and expressing love will attract and manifest more love. You deserve all of it. Have faith in Spirit's plan for you. <laughs> this was almost like a reading for everybody, all three of them. <laughs> the protection message is loyalty to people and situations can turn into attachments that result in stagnation and mashment and loss of integrity. Do you fear what will happen if you let a relationship evolve? Are you afraid that asking for a situation to change will make others see you as disloyal? Trust that when... Dog spirit appears that you are meant to accept the tuning or turning, I should say, of the wheel of life and the changing of fortunes. If you feel that you are being betrayed or are growing apart from someone, let dog spirit re reconnect you with your commitment to love in all its forms. Perhaps a relationship is meant to evolve. Perhaps you are meant to evolve too. So that you can experience the growth for which your soul yearns. Your greatest loyalty is to love. So be open to all its many guises, including self-love. You deserve the best, and that is what spirit wants for you. How beautiful is that? Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like these videos, please remember to subscribe. And if you feel so inclined, give me a like. Um, Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you.